You will recall my telling you that it takes no small amount of courage to be a lancer. Now, in general terms, courage is the strength to do something, which one finds unnerving. Where the lancer notion of courage is not so simple. Having first drawn a distinction between courage and recklessness, he then... Excuse me. Uh, but... Uh, between courage and recklessness, he then divides the former into two aspects. I would have you earn each with its spear in hand. First is composure. When outnumbered in battle, a lancer may lose his composure and succumb to panic. Should this happen, all his training will slip through free his mind, the structure of components whom we would have, he, whom we would have ordinarily have bested with ease. He will, in short, c contribute to his own defeat. If you wish to become a lancer in suit, uh, you must learn to maintain your composure at all times. Do this and you'll be able to call upon every ounce of your strength and skill when it matters most. And, and so, to your first task. The riverbanks of Central Shroud are coming home are, sorry, are home to Val the riverbanks of Central Shroud are home to Vulcan known as Yarzon. Fiercely territorial, the creature will attack anyone who strays too close, making them the bane of fisher folk. They typically prey upon their uh, fall upon their prey and mass, barring all avenues of escape for causing it for the kill. What must go through the mind of the victim in that instant? Panic? Despair? Be sure to tell me upon your return. Needless to say, I would have you brave. Uh, needless to say, I would have you brave such an encounter. Take this sack of a suddenly noisome bait, and and use it to lure the ever ravenous creatures out of their nest. It may be the only. It may be that only one curious Yarzan appears. But what if two or three follow, follow the scent? Let us see how you fare then. Go now, my young lancer, and, and learn what happens, what it means to fight with composure. It's kind of weird how they're sending me off alone. <laughs> you think they would at least want to see that I pulled it off? Because I could just leave the city and walk right back in. I like to wait out there for a bit. You know, play with my pole arm a bit. Come back in. Ugh. Oh, Steve, this person got just got an achievement. This one time at level 30? Okay, it's not telling me. Uh, all the more region to lev. Uh, complete 10 regional battlecraft wa wave quests. Complete 10 unique ones. Uh, get a thousand gil from wave quests. A visit place on the area map and complete a, a hundred unique quests. Get to level 50 as, you know, one of these uh, classes. Then Mastering Adventure, get both of them. Mastering War gets to level 60 as one of these. Cool. Complete five Retainer Ventures. Huh. I have no idea about Retainers as... You as you've seen. Um, I, you, you've seen what I've done in this game, so, yeah. Let's go repair my gear. Uh, who can repair it? You want to say? The calamity forced many a local merchant out of business. It was only when the old ends appeared that the markets began to regain a semblance of their former life. Profits are high, but so is tension between the locals and outsiders. While it can't be denied that the old ends have helped us greatly, the presence gives rise to new problems. Such as... My brother Hadford and I oversee the Rosewood stalls, while that old Dan me uh, merchant Rishu is responsible for the Ebony stalls. Of course, Master Parshant holds the real power in the markets. Hardford thinks Rishu is a decent enough lass, but I say that all damn wench can't, wench can't be trusted. I so always dealt fairly with me, but doesn't pay to ignore one's instinct in business. Unless that instinct is wrong. Something to grab um, the uh, lance now. Uh. Actually, wait. They're giving me the bone harpoon, right? I can use the bronze spear. So I'm going to take this. Like, if they were just going to give me a, a, a bronze spear, I'll wait. I'll do the quest and get it. But since they're going to give me something that uh, is inferior to what I could buy, I'm just going to buy the superior thing. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll head back out into the um, oh, central place. First, let's actually adjust some things. Take this quest. Hmm. All right. One other quest to turn in. So we we'll wander over that way then. Actually, wait, jewel, bottle accessories. My God. You know what? You can keep them. You can keep them. Yeah, we'll have to wander over here. Actually, wait. If I head to this, I can teleport. Well, that certainly speeds things up. Well, so I'll only end up finding two of the R's on. Ah, that's fine. So, let's turn this quest into you. Ah, you're back. I've procured discarded oil as I requested. A viscous yet odorous secretion taken from the underbelly of a com common ladybug. Yes, everything appears to be in order. Ceremony proceed as planned. I am grateful to the elementals for delivering you to us. Please accept this small to it's token of our appreciation. Okay, uh, moving back on out. Actually, wait, teleport. There we go. This will be quicker. Well, yes, it costs a bit. You know, it's it cost me a bit of cash. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. I got plenty of money, and I can. St I have plenty of things to sell. Uh, excuse me. What do battle wardens do again? Uh, guild heists. No. Wait, wait, wait. Am I high enough level for them? No. I need level 10. Completion bonus? Shit. That's awesome. It's over a thousand coins for it. A thousand gil. Okay, I can't get the ones I wanted. Uh, the ones I just done just yet. I think I have to wait a bit. I thought they re automatically refreshed, but annoyingly not. Spirit is, is fearless to send me up there, huh? Uh, annoying. Well, not that big of a deal. I'll swing back down and deal with the um, bog yarzons. Try not to sneeze right now. I'm gonna go record some WoW in a bit. Need to catch up with the Alts. Um, the Ananis of Naked Rock have ventured forth from their territory to hunt. Illuminate the pack before they begin feeding on the small folk. No. Um, actually, what are they? Oh, they're the raptors. Okay, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll engage a few. I need them for a quest. Or the hunter quest. God damn. I know I vastly outlevel these beasties, but... Shit.
Just didn't expect to do that much damage, you know? Also, clever, clever girls. Really. Also, why are you guards not doing shit? Like, I figured they were guards or something. Anyway, Yara's on Nest over here. Uh, though Yara's on are said to be attracted to the stench of most any kind of rotting flesh, they become especially excited when that is the flesh of a fellow vile king. Interesting. God damn, this is disturbing. Ugh. I hope we don't have to deal with much Yarazon. Because, oh my god, I hate this. Ugh. Ugh. The black aft wanted to get in on this. It does look like it's kind of like nibbling a bit on the Arzon. So anyway, moving away and going to fight, engage other Yarzon and creep myself out further. Spirit hold, huh? huh. Galvan Spire. I have to go through this cave here. Or a tunnel or whatever. Yeah. That's fine. Just, it's handy to know where you're going, you know? That's all. Impulse drive. Sounds like something from sci fi. You know, uh. Just going on impulse. Uh, that's the like impulse or something. That's where I remember that in Star Trek Online. Played a fair bit of that. Uh, I was going to say when I was younger, but it's like last year. How was it earlier this year? To be honest, it all boils down. So I have no clue. Oh, brilliant! I got another uh, Lancer tank. Useful. There we go. Let's go turn this in. And I'm nearly level 10. Beautiful. I suppose it might be beneficial for me uh, for XP reasons to go do the Clever Girls quest, but I can't bring myself to. And I'm just going to go with what I'm into, because otherwise I'll burn myself out. And then I'll be like, eh, I'm done. Wait. I swore there's a car alarm going off nearby, but no, it's just something in the game. Someone's uh, tree car is going off. Okay. Have you come to train? Uh, the rock hard caterpace of a bog y Yarzon. Hmm? Not new recruit. Didn't what? Ah, the yards and showed the order Marilyn to requisition. See, you learned how to de you learned to delegate authority, if nothing else. Now that I have these caterpaces, I can send my recruits to, my recruits to some specialized drills. They are already adapted hitting a target, of course, but they need to practice knowledge. They need practical knowledge of where exactly where a monster like a Yarzon is most vulnerable. Thanks to your efforts, I've no doubt they will fare better against the creature when called upon. You should be prou proud of yourself. Both they and the Bannock are safer for your help. Oh, thanks, mate. I'll go with this. That was nice. Can I get any new ones? Yes. Um. 
Okay, this is a new one. Recent co uh, recent communion with the spirits of the Twelfth Wood reveals that a plague of Vulcan has descended upon the forest. The plague has in turn caused an explosion in the population of the land traps which feed upon the tiny pests. If left unattended, Vulcan will continue to feed upon the land feed will continue to feed the land traps who eventually overtake the wood, killing off many of the other native flora. Um, Silverblade Fane is committed to restoring balance to the forest and is offering rewards to any who would help exterminate the help in the extermination efforts. I'll gather these. Water, water everywhere. Where? Following the calamity, which uh, saw many of the shallower creeks in, north, uh, in the North Shroud dry up completely, a large number of be Ooh, it succeeded. And I got a little bit of XP and gold. Um, anyway, um, a large number of Beast King um, began an exodus to the Central Shroud in search of fresh water. Some creatures can prove extremely violent. There are, have already been reports of livestock going missing and children being attacked. To ensure the safety of those who reside in the area, the Trappers League is petitioning adventurers to seek out the invasive species and slay them. Picking up the pe uh, piercers. Stay for a while and scourge of the sappers. I know some of them were rather low level, but I'm, I'm doing them again because uh, XP. I just want to hit level 10, then I can do another Lancer quest, and I can um, continue on with that quest and start moving south. Remember those giant turtles back at uh, the other place? Um, where was where was oh, what was the other place? All da, yeah, all da, yeah. Um, back there, never actually engaged any of them. Any of the higher level beasties and everywhere else, never engaged them. Like, you know, you would find, like, these trends, just like level 12 guys just walking around with level 4s. Never engaged all those equivalents. Stay for a vibe. Really? I experienced point penalty? In what way? Let's continue and see. Will I actually lose XP? I doubt it. It's not that great. I'm only 4 levels higher. Just to make it sound like I'm 40 levels higher. Alright. 2 down. Second presence. There we go. Just a single bark weevil. Five. If you want to know why this music makes me think of Final Fantasy VII, look up Those Who Fight. Or Still More Fighting. Well, I can't remember which one. One of those. Um, both are combat music. But one of them really uh, has a similar kind of tang to it at a certain point in both songs. Well, this has a certain tang that reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. The did 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 tang. Makes me think of that. Cursors. Initiate. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Gathering spears. There's apparently going to be an XP point penalty, but... I don't know. It won't be a big deal. Ooh. 
Of course, and the agro 